Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 2, Episode 69. This is the fourth day of the Mega 12 Juniors Tournament. Now, for those of you just catching up and just following along, this will be an extremely short video because this is just going through basically matches and hyping people um, to prolong the segments and to basically get our, you know, women and all those people on the show that we need to avoid the sausage fest, sausage fest penalty on. So we go through this show extremely quickly. And let's get straight into the action. We get a video package, because this is an extra show, by the way. It's not aired on TV, it's an event, and this is what we had to do in order to get it going. So anyways, we get a video package featuring Triple H and his announcement of the Mega 12 Juniors Tournament a few months back. We run down all the names in the tournament, basically like an open video package, and the matches tonight as Triple H continues to talk with the main event being Jushin Thunder Liger taking on Ty Dillinger in the main event. So yeah, Triple H basically just hyping up the evening. Alright, let's keep going. In a decent match, TJP defeats Roddy Strong in 18 minutes by submission with the figure for Deathlock. That's right. 65 in ring for Roddy Strong, 52 for TJP. Roddy Strong, after a huge championship defense against Ty Dellinger just a week prior, taps out to the figure for Deathlock of TJ Perkins, and TJB gets the victory over your current NXT Junior Heavyweight Champion, Roderick Strong, likely setting up a championship match at NXT TakeOver War Games. That's exactly why he beat him tonight. But either way, Roddy Strong will surely have quite a few wins here in the tournament. But Roddy Strong takes the loss on his back against TJ Perkins tonight here on NXT. 56C-. minus. The camera focuses on TJP, who's shocked that Roddy Strong tapped out. But the NXT Junior Heavyweight Champion tasting defeat for the only the second time since becoming the Junior Heavyweight Champion. Roddy Strong, being the wise veteran that he is, though, knows that this is a long-term game that is the Mega 12 Tournament, and this is just the fourth in 11 matches. He will live to fight another day, and there's nothing wrong with that. So we'll go ahead and advance the storyline with Heat, a 77 beat for the backs between Roddy Strong and TJP. All right, in the next match, Aleister Black defeats Ani Lorcan in 7-10 to remain the only undefeated man in the tournament, or the only man who's won every match, I guess you could say. He wins with the end of the line. Phillips and Carino have a good chemistry. Aleister Black looked great with a 71, with 70, Lorcan with a 41. This has advanced, and Black is gaming a good performance. That's really good. 58 C minus here for Black and Oni Lorcan. Next, we get a reminder that coming this Wednesday night on NXT, we are going to see the revival. Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder in action. 76 B minus. Next, and about that a decent wrestling, we didn't have much heat. Crow defeats his Crow's Nest partner or stable mate Daunt in 10 minutes with the assault driver. Some of these matches, you know, the ratings are low because we're going heel versus heel, face versus face matchups, but that happens sometimes in tournaments uh, of this uh, light, uh, of this stature. So a 54 C minus for Crow and Daunt, not great, but we'll take it, I guess. Next, we get a video hyping our next NXT, our NXT Heavyweight Champion. Yes, on a junior show, Mr. NXT and his Mrs. Mrs. NXT. We are reminded that in just four weeks, he defends his championship against Brodus Clay at NXT TakeOver War Games. 85B+. So hopefully, we're trying to prop up the show. We have a minimum uh, show you know, ready to, to meet on our events. So hopefully, we can do that here. 85B+. Next up, in a decent match, Bobby Fish defeats Mark Andrews in 9 minutes by pinfall with a running single leg knee-high strike. So Bobby Fish gets the victory here tonight with a 60 in-ring performance. Mark Andrews with a 40, and the storyline has advanced in the segment. No skill improvements. Next up, we see Bailey retaining the NXT Women's Championship, but Peyton Royce's shoulder questionably being up at the end of NXT TakeOver Rival. The follow-up from that tomorrow on NXT, because Bailey will yet again go one-on-one -on -one with Peyton Royce for the NXT Women's Championship that will open NXT this week. 67C+. All right. Next up, an amount that had decent wrestling but didn't have much heat. Cedric Alexander defeats Kyle O'Reilly in eight minutes with a lumbar check. 53C-. minus. For Cedric Alexander beating Kyle O'Reilly. Now, 
this got the crowd buzzing. Now, the, the the good thing about this is while our junior heavyweights aren't the most overworkers on our roster, this is labeled as an event, so the overness that they're going to be gaining from these victories is going to be really good. But we're going to have to deal with the lower ratings, as I've discussed in previous events. I've only had three disappointing locker room uh, sh- after post-show, post-show comments, and it's been after each one of these tournaments. So 53C minus. Let's keep going here. Next, we get a video hyping the main event for tomorrow's NXT when Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne go at it in a steel cage match for the NXT UK Championship after the actions of William Regal at NXT TakeOver Rival that caused Triple H to strip Tyler Bate of his newly won championship. The fallout tomorrow night. 77B, the manifest disadvantage has advanced as well. No scale improvements. Hopefully this is like a 60 at least. Not great. And decent match, Juice and Thunder Live defeats Ty Dillinger in 10 minutes with the Brain Buster. Juice and Light with the first victory of the, or second victory of the tournament, this time over Ty Dillinger. 51 for Dillinger, 49 for Liger. Skill improvements, oi. Uh, man, if this is a 60, I'll be very thrilled here because we are going to take some popularity hits here. We were in Hawaii. We're far less popular in Hawaii. I just noticed that, but we're going to let it roll as is. 10,300 people. Let's see what our rating was. 61C. This lost us popularity in 11 regions. Well, this isn't great. We're, 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 we are doing these to get the juniors over and to build our junior brand with the Mega 12 Juniors Tournament, uh, but this was not great. This was not great at all. So we're going to have to work on getting better ratings. Um, maybe, you know, kind of fleshing it out with Triple H segments or stuff like that, but yeah, our juniors continue to let us down in terms of the ratings, so it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. This is a side thing, but uh, I'm not thrilled. The, and, you know, we have a lot of juniors in our NXT UK uh, developmental promotion, so we'll we'll look to them, too, after this tournament uh, concludes at Brooklyn. But this was NXT The Game, Season 2, Episode 69, the fourth day of the Mega 12 Juniors Tournament. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of NXT. Thanks for watching. Have a glorious evening.